Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I have got a summer-inspired recipe to kick off Memorial Day weekend. For this quick bite, I'm making my swordfish and veggie kebabs with a lime cilantro dipping sauce. Now, anytime you're working with a wooden kebab stick like I have over here, you wanna make sure that you soak them in water for at least a half an hour before using them just to make sure that they don't catch fire. Now, you could make this on an outdoor grill, but I am going to use the broiler today. So what you need is a rimmed baking sheet topped with a wire rack that you've either brushed with a little bit of olive oil or sprayed with a little cooking spray. Now, we're gonna start with a quick marinade for our swordfish. Grab a medium-sized bowl, and to that we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of fresh lime juice, one teaspoon of ground cumin, a pinch of cayenne pepper, just for a little heat, a teaspoon of garlic, because we need to add garlic to everything, a pinch of kosher salt, and a little fresh black pepper. Then just give it a little whisk and toss in your swordfish. Then just move that around. You just wanna make sure all the, the swordfish has a nice light coating of the oil and the spices. Now all I did with the swordfish was trim off the skin and then cut it into these hearty little chunks. You want the pieces to be fairly uniform but don't, don't need to get too exact about it. You're gonna come up with somewhere between 12 and 16 pieces. So as for my veggies, I've cut up one small red onion into small wedges, two bell peppers, you can choose any colors you want, although I do recommend choosing two different colors, and I just cut those into little squares. And then I grab a handful of cherry tomatoes. Now as for seasoning this, we're not gonna season the veggies right now. Once we get them on the skewers, we're gonna touch them up with a little bit of that extra marinade from our swordfish. When it's time to assemble your kebabs, you're just gonna grab one of these wooden sticks and start threading on the fish and the veggies. So one piece of swordfish, an onion, a pepper, another piece of fish, a cherry tomato, another piece of swordfish, bell pepper. You're just gonna keep going with this until you've gone all the way down and you've got about an inch of stick left on each side. You're gonna end up with three to four pieces of swordfish per kebab. And don't forget guys that the point of these kebabs is pretty sharp. So watch your fingers while you're skewering your kebab. Then what I do if I have extra veggies hanging out, I just string them up and make some plain old veggie kebabs. Now, if you guys wanna make sure that you're making sustainable choices when buying your seafood, be sure you check out the Monterey Bay Aquarium. They have a seafood watch, and they will tell you exactly where you wanna be buying your fish from and how you want that fish to be caught. I'm gonna leave a link down below. Be sure you check it out. Now, once you've got all your kebabs skewered up, you wanna just take that extra marinade and just brush it over the kebabs, especially the veggies, since we didn't season those up earlier. Now, we're just gonna pop these under a high broiler for three minutes, then we'll take them out, flip them, and let them go for another four minutes. Like all fish, you're gonna know that it's done when it turns from translucent to opaque. And they do go pretty quickly, guys, so definitely you wanna keep an eye on them. The sauce that I like to serve with these kebabs is pretty much the same sauce that I serve with my shrimp tacos, and it's very light and bright and refreshing, and it just so happens to be a great complement to lots of different seafood dishes. Plus, it's very easy to make. You need a half a cup of plain Greek yogurt, and to that we're gonna add one clove of crushed garlic, a tablespoon of fresh lime juice, two tablespoons of cilantro, fresh chopped cilantro, and again, if you don't like cilantro, go ahead and sub in parsley, pinch of kosher salt, bring that together, and your sauce is ready. Now let's go get those kebabs and we're gonna bring this dish together. Now guys, take a look at this because this is exactly what I'm talking about. Our veggies are nice and al dente, crisp around the edges, and that fish has gone from translucent to opaque, so we know the kebabs are ready to go. Now I just like to serve them up on a plate with a couple tablespoons of that dipping sauce, and dinner is served. Mmm. The smoky cumin with the cayenne pepper on the fish, paired with that light, refreshing sauce. Mm, match made in heaven, guys. This is the perfect way to kick off Memorial Day weekend. For more simple and nutritious recipes, tips, and ideas, be sure you come on over to cleananddelicious.com, where you can print all the recipes, save your favorite right to your very own personal recipe box, and subscribe to my newsletter. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you next time 
with another quick bite. A summer-inspired recipe to kick off Memorial Day weekend. For this quick bite, I'm making my 